Hello everyone! Uh, today we're going to learn how to do another program with your child and that is a program that we call Receptive ID. Um, so basically what Receptive ID means is can your child identify an item when told the name of an item? And we do that by having your child point. Um, so I'll show you an example, it'll make a lot more sense. So some materials that you'll need for this program is some common objects around your house. I just grabbed these from all over. So it's a marker, I have an orange, I have a pencil sharpener, uh, my keys, <laughs> some salt, some glue, some tape. There's a rubber band over here. So anything that you can find uh, will work. The other thing that you'll need is some type of reinforcer. So this is something that your child may want to work for. It could be a toy, it could be an edible, like a piece of popcorn or a little piece of chip, um, anything like that. So that's just something that after they get the right answer, along with praise, um, you can give to them. So I'm gonna go over what this program will look like. Okay, so just move your materials off to the side. Um, you're going to have your child sit or stand at a table or on the floor, wherever, and you're going to put three objects in front of your child. So here, I'm going to put three objects. Okay. So the direction we're going to give is point two and then the name of one of the objects. So for example, uh, point two, orange. That would be my direction. Okay, so you're gonna give the direction to your child, point to orange, and then what your child needs to do is point to the correct object, okay? So pretty easy. So a couple things to note with this program, and really any program or activity where you're putting things in front of your kid like this, we wanna make sure that we're always switching around the order of the objects so that your child doesn't memorize um, like the location. So I might ask, point to orange here, they'll point to orange, and then the, before I ask the next direction, I'm going to rotate the items, okay? And then I'll say, point to glue, they'll point to glue, they'll, I'll say, great job, that was awesome, um, and then rotate the items again, just to keep them guessing a little bit, okay? Um, and the other thing that you can do is that you can rotate out items. So like, let's say you had them point to orange, that's great, now we're gonna add some new items in there, okay? So after every direction that you give, after your child does the response, you're going to switch the items, or the order of the items at least. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what correct versus incorrect uh, responses look like in this program. Okay, so I'm going to give the direction to the child, point to tape, they point to tape, that's a correct response, woohoo! great job give them lots of praise that was awesome pointing to tape you're so cool that was great um, and you can also give them the reinforcer but you don't have to give the reinforcer after every correct response you can do it after every two to three correct responses that's okay but make sure you praise every single time they do something right that's really important okay so I gave my direction I'm gonna rotate my items around and now I'm gonna show you an example of an incorrect response Okay, so I'm gonna give the direction to the child, point to orange, they pointed to tape instead. So you're going to repeat the direction, you're gonna say point to orange and then take their hand and help them point to orange. Then you can say, that's pointing to orange. So I'll show you again, this is an example of an incorrect response and how you can um, correct your child. So, all right, I got my items, we'll mix them around. A little bit. Let's put something new in there. All right. Point to glue. So they point to the wrong one. I'm going to take my hand over their hand and show them the right answer. Point to glue. That's pointing to glue. Okay. Um, so I'll show you a couple more examples of correct responses. Um, and it'll be great. So let's get some new stuff in there. All right. Point to rubber band. Nice job pointing to rubber band. That was awesome. Point to glue. Great job pointing to glue. You're a superstar. And I'll show you one more. So we mix the items. Point to rubber band. Wow, you did it. You pointed to rubber band. Super job. Um, so that is the receptive ID program. Um, 
And there's a lot of items that you can use for this. You can use items found around your house. You can use toys, different animals. You can even use pictures of things. So pictures of animals, pictures of people, like point to mom, point to dad, anything like that. Um, if you're interested, I can also provide you with a list of things that your child knows how to identify receptively. Um, just reach out to me. And if you decide to do this program with your kiddo, uh, send some pictures to me. I'd love to see it. Um, and that's all I have for today. Thank you so much. See you later.